It's soon. Hmm. There's so much space here. Cause you're fucking here. I look so tiny compared to you because you're a ridiculous hat. So this past week. This past week. We had to go to LA. We had to take a little road trip to Los Angeles because we had some meetings. I had to do ADR for a film. We traveled with Crow a couple times. This time for some reason it felt a little bit more extensive, everything that went along with it. There was a lot more stuff to coordinate. It was just a lot. It's 5.30 a.m. Oh wait, no, it's six now. Mm, it's too early. We woke up at 5.30 and now we're getting ready to go to LA. I'm pretty tired. I think Crow and Blue are eating breakfast out there. But, I'm supposed to be getting ready. I'm supposed to finish packing this. <laughs> and I'm moving very slowly. My coffee is helping though. All right, let's get moving so we're not running too late. Feel the power. We're on eco right now. There's a sports button. We're driving to LA. We're driving a very not clean rental Blue, car. Blue's very worked up about our car, our rental car. I'm leaving a Yelp review. I'm, it, there's nothing that irritates me more than something that's dirty and this car is dirty. There's trash in the back seat. There's fingerprints all over the windows. Water spots on the mirror. It's not safe driving conditions. Oh yeah, we got out of here. You better hold on to that camera. Oh. Uh, this traffic is bad though. Piled up bags and all this stuff, strollers. We pull into the room and Blue, immediately, as soon as we walk through the door into the room, Blue stops everything. He said, like, don't let him out of the stroller. You just stand there. And he pulls out a giant can of Lysol <laughs> and literally from top to bottom of the room, side to side, wall to wall, he covers the entire room with Lysol. Then he goes into the bathroom and he like, takes out his Clorox wipes and he cleans the toilet from top to bottom, the sink, the shower, everything. The floors. He says, they, they shouldn't even bring in maids before we come. Shower. Hey. It was on your shirt. Boo. Hey. Oh! You scared me. Where's Crow? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, did you just hit your head? I think he might be on. Oh, Crow's using the potty. I have to go. Are you going? No. Did you go pee? Yeah. I hear something happening in there. And he was focused, he was concentrating, so I know. Alright. We arrived. I have to go do. Wait, we have a potty. I'll be right back. What? Did you go potty? I looked in there and I saw it hanging from his butt. Did you go potty? Yeah! High five! Yes, good job! High five! Good job! Yeah, you went potty! You're such a big boy! That's a really good job! 
Uh, you know what I think? And poopy. I think that means you get a special treat today. I think so. Oh. All right, I'm back. <laughs> All right, we actually, w the thing that spurred this whole trip was I have to do ADR for this film called Where Are You, Barbie? Where Are You, Bobby Browning? That I shot, I think, last year. So I have to go do some sounds, like, uh, what does is, what is ADR sound for? Like, audio replacement. No, audio, audio digital replacement. I don't even know what ADR stands for. And I've done hours and hours of it. I should probably know this. Anyway, I have to take off, so I'll, I'm gonna leave these two guys. I'm gonna go. Daddy's gotta go work. Well, these guys stay and play. Um. All right. So peace. Have fun at ADR. ADR. <laughs> This is where I'm doing ADR today. Not all ADR studios look like this. This is definitely one of the coolest, most unique looking ADR booths I've been in. Soon, my picture will be there and I'll talk into that mic. This is Kevin, he's running our session for the day. A piece of spoken word gets chopped up anyway. That's okay. its own little piece. It's okay. Like, it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. So then, let's move on. I think that's, I think you're good. I think that's it. Well, that's it? That's a wrap on ADR. Yeah. Boom. What? Hey. Uh, I got it. Gotcha. You got your bag? Are you ready to go? You got gotcha. it? Uh -huh. You got gotcha. it? Okay. Stay right there. We have so much stuff. Alright. Okay, I'll take the stroller. And Are you ready to go? Yeah. What's on your bag? I don't want to carry this. I'll carry that. Yeah. Go. Fast. I don't know about this idea. Jeez. Stay back. Stay back. Daddy. <laughs> I got. Daddy. Are you comfortable? No. <laughs> He's not look comfortable at all. Look at all my shit I gotta push. It's all falling everywhere. Daddy. What? My trolley. Yeah? Hey, guess what? I see the back of your head. Any parting words? You spin? You spin? No. You don't wanna spin? Are you dizzy? No, Going into a meeting right now that we're kind of late for. <gasps> Shocker! What when you have a two year old? <laughs> uh, but this is reason number two, really, that we came to LA. I just lost the keys. Right on the wall, it's the only time you're ever gonna be allowed to do that. Hey, who is that? Mickey. Is it's that one Pluto? Of them. Or Pluto? Goofy. That's Pluto. Or Goofy, one of them. I think that's Pluto. We visited the tar pits in LA, which is that, it's a, the tar pits in LACMA, which is the Los Angeles Museum. Wait, no. Los Angeles Museum <laughs> of um, Art? Wait, no. LACMA. Los Angeles Modern. Modern. Modern art, oh, whatever. Yeah. It's my favorite museum, and I can't remember the name of it. But we used to live walking distance from it, and it was one of my favorite things to do is to like, to walk there on a, and just like say spend forever because it's it's a museum. It's got these beautiful park, and it's got the tar pits where there's all these fossils. We'll take crow. Ow, ow. We'll take crow to the tar pits and hang out and spend the day there. But. He didn't get a nap before we but. went, and he was a cranky baby the whole time. No, that's not no. true at all. 
He was running around the grass, playing on the bear. Okay, towards the laughing. end. But it took like probably an hour of coaxing him to get him to have fun. Sitting in awful LA traffic. You should have known better than to leave at this time. You shouldn't get out of this lane though. Oh, I wanna get out of this lane! I'm so tired of this traffic! It's hours later and we're still stuck in LA traffic. We still are not nearly as far as we should be. Oh, we have a couple almost empty bottles to pee in. But for any guys out there who have been in a car and had to pee in a bottle, you know that this is too small. The whole opening, the whole opening is too small. So here's the plan. I'm gonna combine these two half consumed bottles of water into one. Then I will have one empty bottle which I will then take this mouthwash. bottle of mouthwash and put into this because this has a bigger hole opening where I can slip my penis <laughs> and pee. How's, how do you feel about that? I think that's an excellent plan. Ta-da! Gross, don't shake it around like that. <laughs> it looks like mouthwash. It's bump tits. Bump tits. Today bumping. Make the ugliest face you can make. Okay. Right. But you gotta be in screen. Mm, you're still pretty hot. Still pretty hot.